Hello everybody and welcome back to another Reg F video. Today I'm jumping straight into the battles. We are trying to see how high we can climb up with a solid unit with Heatran, Gouging Fire, Ogre Pond, Chien Pao, Clear Amulet Iron Hands, and Citrus Berry Perigraph. We're running the AV Heatran, Booster Energy, and Focus Sash on Chien Pao. Please share around and without further ado, let's get started here. Looks like we've got a Life Orb Rapid Stripe Boo, which is kind of crazy. Um, I'm gonna go with like kind of a trick room mode at first just to kind of see like what my opponent wants to do how they want to play We see the life orb Okay I just go for this because a mist ball won't kill iron hands. Yeah, it's gonna do a lot of damage, but iron hands really is here just to Create a bunch of pressure So we'll kind of go from there Out comes Glim, predicting the fake out into the uh, Foo slot, which is absolutely fine. Very good play from them. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I am just going to go for the nasty plot, try to see if I can set myself up, and I'm just going to go for the close combat into Glamora. Um, because I see that they're the Power Herb Meteor Beam set, I don't know if they have enough bulk to live a close combat, but I'm also not super familiar with the spreads, so we're going to find out. I should be able to live one Meteor Beam from Ferrigarath. I actually haven't seen this spread yet, so we'll, ha we'll, have to, uh, we'll have to get adjusted to it, so we'll see. Yeah, I thought I'd get close to killing. I think that's a bit of a roll, so we'll see what happens. We see the Meteor Beam does come out. It does miss Ferrigarath, which is a little bit unfortunate for them, but they did also live on a bit of a roll, it seems, so. Either or. I think Dazzling Gleam is going to be solid. You have Terra Steel. I'll just Flash Cannon. I mean, if you're going to commit the Terra to your Latias, I, I wouldn't agree with that at all. Like, I just don't, so. Um, yeah, exactly. See, Latias is so bulky, it lives this, like, the spread of attacks anyways. So, yeah. Um, I honestly don't mind just going for Nasty Plot again, and then just Flash Cannoning Glamora. Yeah, and that's why. Get another Nasty Plot up. We get Glamora to go down. It's the Citrus Berry in Sin. I'm going to just Dazzling Gleam. And I am going to Terra Grass immediately, just in case they predict. So, because I really don't have a reason not to just go for that. We see the knockoff go into Ferrigarath, which is, it's unfortunate, but again, it's fine. And I know that they've got, like, Drain Punch, they've got U-Turn, they have a whole bunch of different tools that they could do. But, and I know you haven't used Terra. It's a very, very spooky prediction to make. But even if they do make this prediction properly, go for the Terra Steel and uh, get a lot of damage off into Heatran. The big... I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam, actually, now that I'm thinking about that. Because if they try to double the Heatran, thinking that Farig is not a problem. Because, um, like, what I see happening right now is maybe Tailwind into, like, Drain Punch could be pretty solid. Okay, okay, you just go for that. U-Turn does do a really solid amount of damage, though, so... Okay. It's perfectly fine because now I can just bring out gouging fire and it's like even if you predict this here do you have Draco exactly so you can just go for um, you know getting rid of you might actually be my best play yep like I thought getting rid of the Latias was my best play so we just kind of go from there Yep, sets the Tailwind, but that doesn't really matter because now I can just Flare Blitz into Earth Power. Both are super safe because they are going to be guaranteed knockouts because of the Life Orb. So, there we go. Perfect. Next up, get our next round going. Alright. Pretty good here, pretty good. I think we're probably around like 1440 or 1450 on ladder right now. So, we'll just kind of keep ourselves trucking and see what we can do. Um, On this battle, I think... I think it's still fine to kind of go for something like this. Clefairy could make things a little bit more interesting. But it's only running Icy Wind. It's not running after me stuff, after you stuff. So 
I think it'll be fine to just kind of go for this play again. And really, I think it's fine just to fake out Glamora and just go for Trick Room. I mean, I don't necessarily see it being a problem. And like I'm saying, I think that combat was a roll, so I'm pretty comfortable with going for that again. And then just starting to set up my, uh, my Farigaraph. Mist Ball does do a solid chunk of damage, but like I said, we will set up my Farigaraph and we will go for another close combat into the Glamora slot. Like I'm saying, I'm pretty sure last time was a it was a roll, so I'm fairly comfortable with just going for this play. Terra Grass. Hmm. So. Oh, okay, okay. I'm actually all right with this. I don't know if it's enough to take out for rig. <sighs> That's unfortunate for them. Like that really is. I actually feel really bad. Um that sludge bomb's still gonna do big boy damage though, so we're just gonna do this. And again, we're just gonna do this. That life do gave it a lot of health. If they go for follow me here, um, yeah, it takes out my Farig, but, and you do have Protect, which does make this next turn really bad. I played that really fast. I should have slowed down a little, because now all you got to do is fake out the hands. Um, so I'll switch and gouging this turn. Okay, let's see what they go for. Really? Wow. Okay, okay, I see ya. Mm, you went for Protect. Intimidate into Gouging Fire is actually super solid here. It's super solid. So I think just going for like Flash can't... I need to read this. Yeah. Like I was saying, I need to read this. Goes for the Tailwind. Perfect. Um, on this play, I mean, Fake Out into Heatran is pretty obvious, and then just going for an attack into the Gouging Fire. Um, I think what I do on this turn is I bring in Iron Hands. Because, like, Latias will not overwhelm. Um, why would you... I'm so confused on that play. I'm very confused on that play. I mean, I guess knocking that off makes you faster. So now you can kill Heatran. I guess that makes sense. But dang. If I'm quicker, I'm not. So GG. Dang. And I think that is... Oh, wait, no, 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 that's game two. That's game two. So, yeah. We get our game two loss out of the way. Biggest thing that I need to consider um, was I just was playing way too fast. I need to slow down just a little bit and really think about the options of what they can do and kind of like how they can play in and out. So, I think setting Trick Room is still fine. Hmm. I like Heatran a lot still. I'm gonna go Chien on this one. We're gonna go Chien. I do think the same. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a. T We're gonna switch it up a little. Because, like, if they go for Spiky Shield here. I mean, like. Hmm. The benefit of going for um, Fake Out into the Glamora slot is 
they're guaranteed getting their thing up. Oh, I now know that. So I have a very small chance to live that, which is kind of incredible. Um, I think on this turn, I'm fairly comfortable just to get rid of Glamora, right? And the reason I'm going for Terra Fairy right now is because it'll give me that like little tiny bit of the boost that I need. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I feel fine just to predict. I mean, this isn't even really a prediction. It's more just a safe play, I guess. Because that covers for both. And Latias isn't really threatening me. Okay. It's fine, too. Latias just goes for recover. How much did Heat Wave do? It did 38. Perfect. Just go for the nasty plot. I don't know if Mist Ball is going to be enough. I don't. But... Hmm. We'll see. It. Oh, it was enough. That's really unfortunate. You don't really have anything, though, to. Really stop this, so. I think going for, like, a tailwind here would be really smart. Hmm. I think I tear it too quick again. If Incineroar is the last Mon, as crazy as it sounds, I have a fairly good chance. You're gone. Smart Tailwind. You're gone. I am AV Heatran. So, and it is Incin. Fake out's your best play, and then just going for like earth power into the heatran slot is super solid I almost think I should have let um, Latias live because then the tailwind turns like Wow, that crit mattered. Oh man, that crit mattered. Oh no. I guess we take those. We take those when climbing the ladder. Oh, that's just bad. We see a pheasant dippity. A pheasant dippity with covert cloak. How interesting. I mean, Trick Room is really nice against this person, so we're going to go for that. And then, the question is if I'm wanting gouging. You know what's crazy? Is my fast mode is really weak to, like, Insin. So I think that's where I can kind of adjust. I mean, Ogre Pond, of course, can beat Insin. And Ogre Pond's actually really fast here. I'm going to bring Ogre Pond, just because Ogre Pond's actually really solid in this. So that's what we'll go for. Okay. I'm I'm really not scared of getting like super poisoned here, so. And we don't even get the poison. So I'm just gonna terra fairy, we're gonna nasty I don't even need a terra fairy. I literally just nasty plot in close combat. If you terra water your incineroar here, I welcome it with open arms.
like I said, we take it. We got Funky Kong out here. Like I said, I am... You, you have fun with your Pheasantipity. Like, you just have fun. You keep doing you. I'm gonna keep taking out that slot. Yeah, exactly. I'm not scared of the Pheasantipity. Pheasantipity just, like... The thing about Pheasantipity that can make it really, really good is if you have a bulky enough team to be able to live so that it can poison everything and you just kind of, like, sit there. Like... If you don't have a bulky enough team to support the Pheasantipity, don't run it. Like, <laughs> just don't. <laughs> like, it's not that good. <laughs> I promise you. There are some cool adjustments that I am thinking about making to this, uh, to this team, though. Because, like, there is a consistency that I'm starting to see. Where, like, you know, Heatran is good, and I love Heatran to death. But, I don't know, I uh, feel like there's, there's possibly something better. Like, there's possibly something better. You know, like, I'm not sure what that is yet. But there's possibly something better. It really brings my ground weakness to kind of craziness, though, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Even if you get the Intim off, though, I'm still just going to wreck your freaking roar. The Incineroar is going to just get melted. And I call it what I want. The Rory boy. Okay. In all honesty, I'm not too opposed to nasty plotting here and just going for close combat. That's fine. Because now I just heat wave. Not close combat, you. Like I'm saying, I'm not super opposed. I have Chien in the back, don't I? Hmm. I guess they were just too scared of what was about to happen. They were too scared. Okay. We just run that back. Look at it, it's the worm. It's the earthworm. How silly. I think Volcarona is honestly a solid mon, and I do not think people are giving it the respect it deserves. I think Volcarona can be so good. I think Volcarona is one of those mons that can really just start to be something actually phenomenal. In this upcoming um, meta, I, I really think it can be. Um, I know in Japan, Fluttermane is really big. But in the States, it really hasn't been used as much. Because it's a very prediction-heavy mon. But it is just incredible. Um, the bulk it has, the setup potential that you can do with it. I mean, this individual is kind of running like the Fiery Dance. So that if you let it just keep setting up, it will. And it has that follow me type of support. I really think Quiver Dance is just so underused right now. Speaking about that, I might make a Quiver Dance Volcarona team. Because I think Volcarona is in a really good spot right now. Like, I don't think it's broken, but I think it can be a really solid um, type of mon. So. Um, the only thing annoying about Volcarona right now is Struggle Bug is just going to be really, really gross. I almost want to just tear a fairy trick room fake out into Volk because like even if I get burned here like even if I get burned the whole reason on why I did this is because like I want for Rigorath to be able to set itself up like I want that more than anything right now 
so we'll see. It's a booster speed flutter. We do 25. Look at that bulk. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there goes the struggle bug. Exactly. So now, what I think I need to go for is I go for one more nasty plot. I know it's really greedy. And I'm going to go for electric terrain. Yeah. And then I'm going to kill bulk. We're going to get bulk out of here. Bulk's done enough. It's done enough bulking around. Oh, don't worry. I was going for you. I wanted you to die. I know I'm probably getting moon blasted or dazzling gleamed right now, but yeah, I'm fine with that. I go into Heatran here, and what they're going to do is they're probably going to bring out Urshifu, and then they're going to protect both Mons, and then um, uh, I can just safely bring in Chien. So. Protect, protect. I played my Trick Room a little bit bad here, because now, of course, you can just snipe um, Farig pretty easily. I think my best play is still going for Trick Room, but I'm trying to decide what the better play will be. You're not a... The Fluttermane's not a threat. You, on the other hand, my friend, are. So, I could see you protecting here so that Fluttermane can just kill so that you can... Yeah, this is looking over. If I had Protect, it would be better, but I don't, so. I don't know why you... I'm confused. I guess I should have just gone for that, because that was my win con. But no matter what, I don't think Heatran beat whatever was in the back, because I preemptively tear it. So, I think I just need to better play my, uh, my lead. So, this is how we'll lead this one. We'll bring Farigaraf... I think hands is going to be better. Yeah, exactly. What's your Terra? Dragon? Doesn't that mean I can just pretty much just do this? And this? Fairly nicely. Kind of like that. I kind of like that. Do I want a Terra? I don't know if I want to yet. I think this is fine. Because, like... If Bulk does Terra Dragon here, you're wasting, like, you're utilizing, oh, that was a, wow, look at them go. That was a really good play. Mm, I want a Horn Leech. I actually, I want, I want to hit you again. I'm going to Cudgel and I'm going to switch into Furigraph. I know it's a really aggressive read. But it's like the only way that you beat this is if you, well... You know what? I'm going to tear a water cudgel switch into Farigaraf. I know. It's an aggressive play. I get it. Yeah, follow me comes out. And out comes freaking Wicked, and I die, and I lose. Oh, that was dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Don't know why I did this. Oh, because now he's probably faster. Horn Leech comes out. Wicked Blow doesn't kill. Flare Blitz does kill, which is really nice. Um, Sucker Punch will kill this, though. I lose this match, like 100%. 100%. If I follow me, and then... Like, my win con is so small. Yeah, I just lose this one. GG, buddy. GG. They beat me. Good games. Good games. We'll see if we can get one more in. I played that way too fast. That was terrible. 14-0, and 0, like. All right. We see a life orb for rig. A life orb for rig. 
Toy Scar Fu. Let's see a Fake Tears. So kind of like a quick um, try to take advantage of some stuff Whimsicott. So this is going to be a fairly hyper offensive squad. Um, they'll know how to beat my Trick Room Core pretty easily with these two. I can tell this is a pretty, like, just by the way that they're looking, I, I feel like this is a good player. So I'm going to give them the respect they deserve. And it was a good lead on my part. Um, you have two options, so I will just Icy Wind. Or, I mean, Ice Spinner and Heat Wave. Snarl does come out. Like, I could have gone for Earth Power here. But... Farig does come out. You have Terra Fighting Terra Blast? What is this? Terra Grass is super solid here on Heatran. We just Terra Grass and then we start to kill, uh, start to start hitting the Chiyu. I don't think you Terra Ghost Chiyu here. Yeah. Like, I see the Terra Fighting coming out, coming out to play. How much did that just do? Oh my god! Gosh! What in the world is that? My Iron Hands is probably dying here. I gotta be real. It's... It's not looking good. Um... How do I respect this next game? Oh, that flinch was bad! I actually think I could have had him. Oh, no! That flinch was so bad. I actually feel like I could have had that. Okay. So how they led the last time was Whimsicott, um, Chiyu. Having the Covert Cloak means that they can pretty much... I have an idea. I think these two will be fine. Heatran coming in the back. And then I think Gouging Fire... Mm, do I want Gouging Fire? I think I want Water Ogre Pond in this one. Because I think Water Ogre Pond... Like, this is why I'm a bit more comfortable. I am going to Terra immediately. But... I can legitimately just go for the Fake Out into Chi Yu here. Because you have to invest your Terra if you want to stop this Trick Room from going up. Moonblast, of course, does do a lot. Like, and I mean a lot. However, I don't know if I've got enough oomph to kill it, though. So I am just going to Nasty Plot. I'm going to force you to decide if you want to Terra or not. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't think... Um, like, I'm not sure. I don't... Wow. Ooh, that crit might matter. Hmm. I mean, I think plus two is fine. I don't necessarily think that I need to be worried to set up any further than this. But baiting the Terra out was really what I wanted to do, so. Frig should go down. That thing has so much special attack. Yeah. <laughs> like, that thing has so much special attack right now, so. Yeah. Okay, how you adjust is you lead Flutter. So we gotta get the Flutter. So we do this. And then um, we bring our Ferrigraph in the back with Heatran. You do the same thing? I'm so confused. Okay, so what you need to do is... Like, I'm just gonna go to get you down. Like, we get rid of Chiyu... You're kidding! Oh no! That burn is huge! Okay. You have a decision to make. That burn is massive. 
I'm setting the trick room. You have no way to beat this. Normal Terra Blast is freaking solid. That did crazy damage. That was an oomph. I don't think I do this yet. But like, dude, I don't know. I think that I can kill the Ferrigarap if I do this. I don't kill either? Oh, jeez. Frig. I love you, dude. You are phenomenal. Okay, so... <clears throat> I mean, just... <sighs> you now have the ability. Which is terrifying. To lock me into stuff. Um, if it's foo, it's not foo. It's not foo. Um, no, it is foo. It is foo. It is definitely foo. And I think I lost. GG. Oh. You have to be slower, though. Uh, you probably are. Were you slower? You were not. Ooh, this could have been a really bad play. Get the burn, get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. Burn, 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 burn. Burn, burn, burn. No. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, I lose this one. GG. GG. Little unfortunate. Little unfortunate. Well, you know, 1422 isn't too bad. And I think, like, what I've learned is pretty much, like, the way that this team needs to function is, you know, you really have to be able to take advantage of, of course, the trick room turns, which are always fun to try to take advantage of, and really trying to I guess like understand what your opponent is going for like I would say out of the few mons and I know this is crazy but like I I would say this would be better which isn't the crazy thing um but it's like the reason GM Pow is on the team you need to be able to stop size spam you need to have an answer into size spam going into uh if you're going to portland if you're going to um charlotte you need to make sure that you have an answer into size spam you just do uh because it'll feel really bad just to be mowed over by size spam um i know you're probably not running into a lot of it right now but it is a very consistent core and it can do a lot of consistent damage so just have a small answer to it don't prepare your whole team involving it like if you're bringing incineroar I would argue that that's almost a good enough answer because you're going to force a Terra or if you just have the move Ice Spinner, just in general. It's going to be able to create enough offensive pressure to be able to go, okay, I can now take advantage of this board state. Um, something else that I would recommend is like, you know, really try to look into a bunch of different mons. Um, I hope I was able to showcase these six pretty decently. Um, the biggest thing that I am actually trying to consider now is like, really thinking about because in all honesty for me for serious team building i think for is just beyond phenomenal and i also think ogre pawn is fantastic i think these two mons right here for me are two of my favorite mons in regulation f because of what they can do in the specific areas um the few things that i will need to look into for myself is and i'll actually go over it in the video just because whoever watches this i want you guys to have as much information as possible and i want you guys to be able to gain as much inspiration as possible from what i'm building so what i will say is i think define is going to be an incredible ability um i think being able to take advantage of 
the intimidate users that are coming up and being able to capitalize off of them is going to be insane. I know this sounds really weird and I know everybody will probably tell me that I'm crazy with this one. I feel like a Defiant um, Choice Scarf Annihilate can actually be really, really solid in the right hands right now. Um, biggest reason why, you get pivoting with U-Turn. You're immune to a lot of things, um, uh, like Fake Out, um, because of your ghost typing. And then if you're pivoting it uh, fairly well, you can really set your Annihilate up to really counter a lot of the meta. Um, I mean, you're hitting with a 1.5. To outspeed Fluttermane, you need to be at 138. You're at that 138 benchmark without even being jolly. So you can go adamant. You could probably give yourself like one, I would say like 180 attack to be safe and then just dump the rest into bulk however you're wanting to and however your calcs are kind of, I like 100 to 110. Like, it's good. It's good, especially for a Choice Scarf Mon. That's pretty good. But I think that Mons like Annihilate can be incredible. Um, I think that um, Whimsicott needs to be explored a lot more. I do. Um, because I think Whimsicott can really set up um, really awkward speed tier Mons. Uh, I think, of course, Raging Bolt with like a Whimsicott support. Because you have to realize, right? Mons like Fluttermane and even like Bundle coming up. I would say you want to more prepare for just Fluttermane because Fluttermane is, in my opinion, it's the best Pokemon right now. So, because there's so much that Fluttermane can beat and take advantage of, Max Fluttermane is 205, if you guys didn't know that spread already. I know a bunch of you will, but um, pretty much if you're running a Tailwind team and you got to beat 205, you can literally go, there's 208 right there after Tailwind. Phenomenal, right? Like, if you want to go even a little crazy, boom, there's 210. There's 214. You've got 214 base speed right there. Perfect. The rest, you just dump into special attack. You could even bring it to 200. I think 200 will be fine. 200 is plenty. That is, that is a massive attack stat right there. Because, I mean, like, look. If you're building a Flutter main, right? It's like... Without being modest, you're not even hitting 200. So you've got, you've got bulk to work with now. Now you can either go, man, you know, special attackers are a little scary. Kind of give myself, there we go, perfect. Now you've got a bulky Raging Bolt that can take advantage of like being fast. And then you can start to kind of look at some moves that Raging Bolt can learn. Like, you could have it have um bolt switch to kind of pivot yourself out you could no oh. <laughs> you could really cook with some rising voltage you know that Ooh, i'm gonna be making a video pretty soon about this i just seeing that is exciting because i mean like if you're wanting to take out a lander's eye just take it out Dang it. <laughs> Dude, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Um, I know uh, Thunderous gets it. But, like... We want to see... Hmm. I mean, I have an idea of what I want to do with that. Because, I mean, how much is Rising Voltage doing regularly? Like, probably a good amount. I could either go Protect... Um, I don't know. I like Life Orb. And then, like, Thunderclap. Maybe not even Protect. You might even want something different. How much attack do you have? You have 73. I was going to say you might... You could try something like Heavy Slam, but that would be kind of derpy. Um, hmm. You could give it Snarl and then make it AV. That'd be pretty cool. Give it Snarl, make it AV. Give it that good Terra Electric so that you can just start bopping. Do some bopping. And yeah. Hmm. 
man, you know, I'm kind of liking this. Because what if you run, like, I'm, like, already kind of feeling a team here. A team that could be pretty fun. I like Terra Ghost. I don't know. We'll find a better Terra. We'll find one. I don't know if Annihilate will really... I mean, Annihilate could work with this team. You can give, like, beat up to Wim. But you'd be faster, so that wouldn't make any sense. I actually kind of like like this. Like, these two mons can kind of... What if I do... Yeah, no, I'm really cooking, so... <laughs> Lightning Rod, yeah, there we go. Don't underestimate the damage this little thing can do. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I'll just give him. Do I want? want let's do Zing Zap because if I get Trick Room up, I mean it's just it's just gonna be doing damage. I normally run Poison Jab, but I might run something different depending on. More power, the less HP the user has. I need to see the calcs for that. I'm just gonna go pink curtain. Yeah, you're seeing my whole process here. Everybody might do it differently, really. But, might even just give it protect. Protect might be cool for it. I don't know if it gets like helping hand. Um, an all-out attack. Does it give like the the power level of it? Base power one. So I guess it just goes up based on like. Hmm. Well, I think protect is fine. Do you have Helping Hand? No. Do you have anything else? Pain Split, Recover, Spikes, Thunder Wave could be kind of cool. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I think I'd just give it Protect. Boom. Make it brave. Make it slow. Let's give this thing something good for Trick Room. You know what? Screw it. I'm committing. I'm gonna commit. Hmm. Here's the deal. I'd want, like, kind of want something along these lines. Yeah, I do. Do I want Blutter, or do I want, like... Hmm. Because Verizion gets that really cool new move, Psyblade. Or Iron Leaves, sorry. Let's see. Gotta have fun sometimes. I don't think you want Leaf Blade. Let's go Sacred. Protect. With body press? I saw Iron Defense and I was like, dang. How fast can you be? 104? You want the speed. You'll want the speed. Um, Sub could be pretty fun. I think sub on this could actually be pretty nasty. And then we can give it, like, leftovers. And then maybe Terra Fire. 
nice. Um, 171 is what we hit. Yeah, we're good. Want to be faster than that thing. So. You know what? I want to follow me, user. I think Ogre Pond Fire in the sun would be nasty and just super cool. And then we kind of go with... Daddy? That. Okay, there we go. Sun wanting some milk. We must provide. My team is so squishy. You know what? Let's do it. Go from there, 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 there. Just run my my regular set here. Gives you a good amount of bulk to just be able to live anything really. And you want that little bit of special attack, um, that bump, gives you a good amount of damage. And I'm sorry, my little buddy. I don't think you'll be that great. <laughs> We keep that one in the kitchen. We'll just go with our standard big guy, but we will give him the electric terrain to set up our friend here. And we are just going to make it... Sometimes it acts weird. Okay, perfect. We're trying it. We're trying it. Doesn't even matter. Nobody's ready for this. No one's ready for it. They're just not. Alright. See some size spam. Um. In all honesty, I'm kind of okay with just doing this. Then we could bring Ogre Pond and Iron Leaves in the back on this one. Let's see what they do. Yeah, I mean, you can match it, but I'm Terra Fire, right? AV. So you just die. Oh, I'm Terra Electric. <laughs> I don't think you staying in here is the best play, but... Dude, that still does such good damage. But down goes Drago. Oh no, this is where this starts to come into play. I mean, <clears throat> now pretty much what you can do is you'll probably just switch in so that you can take advantage of the size spam. Um, I think I could just match and then snarl here. Because if somehow I like this so much, Yes. Um. Yeah, I mean. If I can get Snarl into the iron. Oh, definitely murders both. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Booster might be better on my iron leaves. I definitely think you one shot. Um. I kind of want to do this. Do you protect? Nope. Sweet. Oh, here we go. Um, you have protect, but I feel like going for something along these lines. I mean, you're going to get this. I need to get this. Okay, we get the bonk. Whew, does nothing. Oh my gosh. And 
Oh! Well, I mean, now I can just spiky shield, and I can fairly easily just Psyblade here. Oh! Oh, the Rocky Helmet still hits on that. I didn't think it would. Huh. That's crazy. My team would have would have done well if I would have played better. Needed to play better there. I think here what I need to do is I am going to lead Raging Bolt again. And I'm going to lead Frigoraf. And then I'm going to let the Trick Room kind of come up into play. And then we'll go with Iron Hand's Ogre Pawn in the back. Set the Trick Room. Let these two Mons just kind of go in. And then we'll just kind of see from there. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay. We see they want to lead their Psy Spam. Which I, I welcome. I welcome the Psy Spam. Because I am just going to set my Trick Room. If they go for Trick Room as well, like, good for them. But, um... Are you Terra Fairy? You are. I do think the next turn getting rid of Ndidi would be my best play. So I will be going for that. They just go for the helping hand. Yeah, the speed booster makes it to where... Oh, that's really bad. That was the only one I really wanted to hit. I am going to Draco Meteor. And Psychic. Puts it at perfect range. Get it. Nice. Nice. That's what we wanted to see. Okay, okay. We're in a good spot. We see that you are scarfed. Um, I want a Snarl, and I want a Psychic. Even if they go for the Terrell Water here. Okay, okay. Yeah, see? Perfect. Perfect. Oh, it's a big Snarl now. Tachyon Cutter comes out. But I'm going to switch, and then I am actually just going to go for another Psychic into the Drago slot. Okay, Iron Crown does predict properly. Hmm. I mean, I just Psychic this slot. And I bring back out Raging Bolt. No, I don't necessarily need to. We just get rid of you. That is such a questionable play. Because now you get rid of your booster speed. Um, you take out both of these. The biggest thing that I have to question now... Oh no, I, I win. I have Thunderclap. So, we're good. We are good. We just go for the Thunderclap. We get it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. The team is coming together. They're winning. They're getting those victories. They're like, you know what? We have an electric terrain mode. And it kind of uh, works. <laughs> the team is doing it, though. It is being victorious. Oh, yeah. See easily take that game too so easily okay in all honesty i think raging bolt for Igarath is actually just a solid lead having iron hands in the back and ogre pawn like does actually just beat this like can beat this team pretty decently dude the av raging bolt is pretty nasty <laughs> we see the indeedy so that you can just start going for like crazy stuff but yeah 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 and I know you're most likely faster than my uh, than my boy so oh wait I have such a good idea <laughs> uh oh 
Uh oh. No one thought this would come into. <laughs> no one thought this would come into play, but it now has. Didi so goes down. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this damage output is just insane. Um. You want to get rid of my Farig right here. And you're slower. I mean, I think, like, I could just go for Draco into this and switch into Ogre Pawn, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. I still think Rising Voltage is enough to kill it. I, I still do. I will just tag it, though. I still think the Rising Voltage... Oh, my gosh. The power. The absolute menacing power. We're going one more with this team, and then we're going to be done recording for the day. Because this is just funny. This is just funny. Um, so we see the Ogre Pawn. It's a weakness policy. Okay. Okay. I like Raging Bolt here. I kind of like going, like, Raging Bolt Whimsicott. I think, like, I actually think you're pretty solid here. I'm going to go with the leaves. We're going to go with this, the fast mode, first game, and then we're going to just completely reverse it with Trick Room. We're just going to completely reverse it. And I know that your mode right now is um, utilizing the Bronzong to bulldoze into your own Raging Bolt to activate, like, weakness policy stuff. Which means I might want to do this, and then we'll bring this in the back. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you just go for protect. Um, if I do this... And then I do this. Yeah. I like this. I know I'm activating him as well, but... I can literally just, oh, you thought you'd kill. We just go for Rising Voltage. I go for Encore into the Raging Bolt. <laughs> oh, man. Why is this actually, like, kind of good? <laughs> yeah, you have to switch into Roar there in Sin. So. And you do have the Mental Herb. So, like... And I didn't bring for rig, sadly enough. You fake out this slot. You probably go for trick room. I mean, here's the deal. Oh, okay. 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 What'd you do? You went for fake out into raging bolt. Murder. We go fast. Oh, it still does such good damage. Hmm. I think in this scenario, I do just go for this. And then what's your Terra Grass? Yeah, we can still just Sacred Sword fairly safely. Even with you switching into Bronzong, I'm pretty fine with it. Dude, that still does 65%. Oh, the weakness policy. Silly me. It's fine, though. Because Psyblade should just take out Raging. And of course, Cudgel. Even if you Terra, Cudgel will still... Should still get... I see them going for... Um, I see them going for an Incineroar switch. But I can't let them get the flippin' Trick Room up. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. I should have gone for substitute, but that's fine. Um, what do you have? Let's see. Just go for Draco Meteor. You just go for parting shot. Draco Meteor is still gonna hurt, but I don't necessarily think it will just. Hmm, it probably can. 
ID Cudgel's resisted. Sacred Sword is super effective. The thing that I'm scared of is that I don't get the um, Incineroar without the double up. So I think I kind of had to go for the double up. We do get the miss. We'll see if this matters or not. You've crash. Ooh. I think follow me into substitute is the best. Oh, what if you don't? I'll just do this. Okay. Oh yeah, I lose. Dang. Dang. I guess I could have double attacked there. I don't know why I didn't because you really weren't a threat. If I would have just gotten you, it would have been fine. But yeah, we'll just go from there. We'll just go from there. We're gonna go with these two behind. We'll go with, I like Raging Bolt and Ogre Pawn. I think Ogre Pawn will be pretty decent here, right? Yeah, Ogre Pawn's Ogre Pawn, so get a good fast mode going. <laughs> okay, you do not have any dark moves, so I will fake out your kitty, friend. And even if you've got the Bronzong stuff in the back, the thing is, yeah, yeah, like I was about to say, the thing is, is I can just nasty plot here. You're gonna bring in, you're gonna bulldoze and bring in your buddy. Yeah, that's what you do. Yep. This kills. Do not tell me it doesn't kill. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. That thing's gone. Okay, cool. We see the Chien Pao. I just go for this again. I mean, there's no reason not to. Mm hmm With the defense drops that you're getting. Yeah. No way to really stop that. Now that you've seen my trick room, though, we got to respect it. I go with the Ogre Pawn. And the Farig. And then we can go with Iron Hands, Raging Bolt in the back. Yep, yep, absolutely. Because now we can just IV Cudgel this slot. And then, um, in all honesty, I'm fine with Nasty Plotting. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Because now I can just switch really heavily into Iron Hands, Terra Fairy, and Trick Room. I could even, like, because... Bronzong might be here. Like, Bronzong might be here. But... Yeah. Ooh, that crit! It's a little scary. Two crits! Two crits. Um, In all honesty, yeah, that's our best play. Ensign goes down. There's no world where Ensign lives this, so we are fine. Oh, it gets back to neutral. No! What is up with all these crits? <laughs> I'm at the point where that crit might have mattered. I don't think Raging Bolt is actually a problem here. Um, You can always Meteor me, though. Which I guess is fine. Yeah, like I said, I guess it's fine. Champ, how's your last Mon? You do have Protect. Which makes things just a little bit awkward. But like... Yeah. Did you Terra yet? I don't think you terra yet.
There we go. GG's. Look at that. The team went in. Put us up to 1450. <laughs> Where is 1453? It's like right outside the top 100. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm like lower. There we are. We try to get into the top 100. Enter the top 100. Screw out. And then just go from there. Oh, my golly. It is funny. It is funny. I don't think Leaves is very good. You know what? Before we even start, I'm switching Leaves for Boulder. I think Iron Boulder could be just super solid here. I'm going to try it. We're going. Don't even stress. Don't even stress. We are weak to ground. We are weak to dark. We are weak to things that a Fairy Terra would like. Do I have any Life Orb on it? No, I don't. We're good. Uh, what is it called? Mighty Cleave? Sacred Sword? Swords Dance? Do I want Swords Dance? Do I need Swords Dance? That's the question. How fast am I? Oh, we're zooming. <laughs> Make electric terrain ourselves. You get Rock Slide, right? Well, Mighty Cleave will be fine. I like Mighty Cleave. What would be funny? What is something no one's, like, prepared for? I don't think Throat Chop is, like, as impactful. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Solar Blade. I don't think that'll be useful. I think, like... I want something that'll actually kind of... Let's do the same thing. Let's do the same thing. We're going to just do the same thing. It's going to be super quick. Super quick. Ooh. Ooh. How's the fake tears? Ooh. Uh, we're specs. I just do this. I like the boulder in the back. The iron boulder's pretty cool. I actually think, no. I'm actually going to go with um, ogre in the back. Ogre Pond's actually pretty good. Dude, this AV Dragon Boy, <laughs> this thing is no joke. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. What an incredible mon. Man, you are going hard. Ooh. It's a little spooky. But we'll be fine. Set the Trick Room. Iron Hands for sure lives, even with a Terra. So, yeah, I'm fine with this. That means that that thing's really squishy. I almost want to just bring in Raging Bolt. I'm going to go for the Wild Charge and a Golden Go just to deal some damage into it. Yeah, perfect. Make it rain. Oh, it went for Moon Blast. That was derpy of me. But now that it's at minus one, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this. Well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, we're good. I was like, wait a minute. But that Make It Rain is going to do... No, we're close to enough. Oh, now we're we're gonna start we're gonna start getting some hits. I'm going in. I am just gonna go in. We're gonna get the flutter main. The ogre pawn. I'm not gonna get at just plus two. You know what? I will get the ogre pawn this way though. It will go down. And it will be satisfying. Okay. Let's see if they spiky shield. Oh, no, they're smart. I could have predicted that and just went for another nasty plot. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Wow. Oh, okay, so we're speed tight. I just want the... 
I want the validation to getting your flutter, so. Oh yeah, we go down, because we played that one really derpy. But, like, however, don't you dare think it's over. This is where we just begin, because Ogre Pawn will be faster than, um, <laughs> even with the Life Orb. Ooh, I, I want to get the Golden Go. I think I just Terrify her and get the Golden Go. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm Sunny Day, Terrify her, get the Golden Go. We're just going to go in. Goes for the Terra Flying. Sunny Day just bops it. Terra Blast does bop me. Oh, um. I do have my boy, though. I do got the boy. The man. The legend. Goes for the protect. It's a smart play. What do you got? You got stomping. I should go for trick room and switch into whimsicott. Or wait. You can't do. I thunderclap immediately. I thunderclap this slot and just go for trick room. Thunderclap. Yep. You don't kill. What are you thinking? You terra flyinged. So. We always just... Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. How much did Psychic do? Psychic did 40, so you do die immediately. Yep. Boom. <laughs> All right. I'm going hard with my Trick Room mode now. We just go hard with the Trick Room mode, and then, yeah, just go in. You know what could be good, though? is you could be really good. What if I go with the fast mode and lead the boulder? Because you don't have any... Yeah, you don't have... Yeah. I like this. Because... Hmm... I think I just Sunny Day, and I Terra Fairy, and I Mighty... And I just Cleave you. Because... <laughs> Dude! Oh, the boulder's about to go in! Oh my gosh! One, two, three. Okay, okay, okay. We get that little bit, that little bit of damage. Little bitty damage. I'm gonna just go for the freaking... If I set the uh, tailwind here... I'm guaranteed faster than everything if I set the Tailwind. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to set the Tailwind. I'm going to let my Whimsicott go down. And then we are just going to let my team just kind of just go in. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's now time for me to go in. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Even if they predict, I mean, I'm at 214. Like, they'd have to be like max speed to outspeed me so that's fine that is absolutely fine that is also absolutely fine oh no okay 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 so now e speed can come out into raging bolt but yeah we just draco meteor every time did they double protect Hmm, my foreshore win is looking like it's going to be a little bit of a game, huh? So you e-speed into Raging Bolt, right? Because, like, Raging Bolt has to take a lot of damage. Like, it has to. This slot, you haven't Terra'd anything. So Terra Fire would actually make so much sense going into that slot, right? And that would actually make it live. So if I Draco Meteor you and Ivy Cudgel you, 
There's a chance. No, that's a bad play. I think I just do this. I like that. I like that. There's a chance. It's whole oh, that E speed does half. This should kill. That should kill. And I think that is game. <laughs> oh man. That's crazy. Cause Thunder Thunderclap should kill. It should kill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's game. <laughs> 1473 with this team. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so silly. 1470 puts us right into the top 100. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like. Please share this around. And really, um,. Just explore some teams right now. I know that this video was a little bit long. I know that, you know, uh, without as much editing and everything like that. I wish I had more time for it. But in the same sense, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like. And I hope you guys continue to all live large in your battles. And truly keep improving, becoming the very best. Thank you all so much. And have a great rest of your day.